Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got an anti-aging skincare routine for you that is effective, it's affordable, and most of the products you can just run down to your drugstore and grab them off the shelf, bring them home, and start using them. So this is a companion video to one that I put out a couple of months ago that was called Best Drugstore Affordable Anti-Aging Skincare. And in that one, I had shopped my drugstore and a couple of online sites that also sell affordable skincare and kind of showed you all the products that you could get to put together into an anti-aging skincare routine that would really be effective. What I didn't do though is show you how to use them, show you what order I would use them in, and so of course the comments below that video were like, yes, this is great, we love affordable anti-aging skincare, but how do we mix all this stuff together? Basically what I'm gonna do in this video is run down how I would use all the products that I showed you in that video in an anti-aging skincare routine of my design. So this is not to say that this is the only way that you can do this or that there aren't other correct ways that you can do this. I'm just showing you how I would use these ingredients based on my skin. And of course, you know, you have to tweak it for yourself because everyone's skin is different. People have drier skin than me. People have oilier skin than me. So no skincare routine is going to be 100% right for everyone across the board and you will need to kind of adjust as you see fit. So if you haven't started with a retinoid before and you're thinking about it, I highly recommend that you watch this video, which is how to get started with a retinoid without going through the peeling, the ugly face, the irritation, because irritation is the enemy of your skin. It's best to ease in slowly with some of this stuff. You don't want to go in if you haven't used any skincare ever and start throwing three acids on your face the first day. And I actually have a video specifically for people who are starting my skincare routine, and I'll link that right up here too, because then can show you how to ease in with all the different acids. Okay, so let's get into how I use the products that I showed you. I actually didn't show you face washes in that video, I don't think. So in the morning, the first thing I do is I get up and I wash my face. The product that I'm currently using is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Gentle Cleansing Lotion, and this is currently my favorite. This doesn't contain any super anti-aging ingredients, but that's fine because it literally is on my skin for under 30 seconds, then I rinse it away. This is fairly new to my skincare routine. I was using the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for five, six years before that, and I always love this, but this recently was reformulated and now it kind of stings and burns my skin sometimes and so I've been using this less and less and less and switching completely over to the Neutrogena but this one does have nice anti-aging skincare ingredients and it's very very hydrating. This one is a little less hydrating so if you have drier skin I would say to go with the CeraVe over the Neutrogena but for my skin this one is fine. The other one you can use is the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This has just about virtually the same ingredients ingredients as the CeraVe. The difference is that this one is paraben free, so if you're paraben averse, uh, you won't want to use this one. So anyway, then I splash my face with water. I pat dry very gently. So the way that you want to apply your skincare is generally from the lightest weight, the more watery formula, up to the heaviest formulas and the things with occlusives would go last. So the first thing that I will normally put on after I wash my face is my vitamin C serum. Now I, I'm going to show you these guys which you can't get at the drugstore. These are my favorite vitamin C serums, but over time will be less expensive than the vitamin C serums that you can get at the drugstore. So I'm going to show you these first because these are the liquidy ones, the ones that are like a watery formula, so they go on first, and they're also my most important morning acid. Now vitamin C serums can be used morning and they can be used evening, so if you don't want to use it in the morning, use it at night. But I use my retinoid at night, so I switch my vitamin C to the morning. The first one is my Timeless 20% CE Ferulic Acid Serum. This one has 20% vitamin C in l ascorbic acid form. The next one is May Love the Glow Maker. This one has 15% vitamin C, also L-ascorbic acid. You can get this one with my code for about $20. If you split it into two smaller bottles, keep one in the fridge, you can get this to last for five months. So that is $4 a month 
to use a vitamin C serum. So that is going to be way cheaper than something that you can even get at the drugstore. Now the May Love, I also have a discount code on, depends on if you're a new customer or old. I'll link all the codes in the information box below the video. If you just want to run down to your drugstore and grab a vitamin C serum, the ones that they have there now that are L-ascorbic acid based are both from essentially the same company, the um, L'Oreal companies. So this is L'Oreal Revitalift 10% Pure Vitamin C concentrate and this is the CeraVe skin renewing vitamin C serum. Of the two I definitely prefer the CeraVe one and so that's the one that I would get. Now where these are not a watery liquid these are a little bit thicker that also has like some silicones and things in it then I would put it on later in the skincare routine just because it's going to be a little bit more occlusive to your other things. So if you are using this don't put it on yet then your first step would be your alpha hydroxy acid so for the alpha hydroxy acids the one that i use every day is the ordinary lactic acid five percent plus ha two percent the other product i had recommended for an alpha hydroxy acid was the alpha skincare essential renewal lotion ten percent glycolic acid i personally can't use glycolic acid so i use the lactic but if you have skin that can take glycolic then you know use whichever one but it's one or the other since this one is a more watery solution then that would go on either first step if you were using the thicker vitamin c or second step if you were using the watery vitamin c okay and each of these is like three to five drops on your fingertips and then you just rub them in no waiting in between any of the steps now this alpha product is more like a cream so if you're using this alpha product then i wouldn't put this on first thing or second thing either. So in my skincare routine, it's wash my face, vitamin C, watery, lactic, watery. But if you're using these guys that you can pick up at your drugstore, then you haven't even put on your first step. You're saving these for later. All right, the next step in my routine is that I put on my CoQ10 serum. So I use a CoQ10 serum from Timeless. This one is a fairly lightweight serum so you're going to use that earlier on but it is a little thicker than the watery serums and so that's why it goes third in my case but in your case it might be first okay and the other advantage to this is that not only does it have the coenzyme q10 but it also contains matrixyl 3000 which is a peptide you get two for the price of one the other coq10 product that i had showed in that other video was this one from eucerin it's their q10 anti-wrinkle face cream now where this is a thicker cream i definitely wouldn't use this for any of the first steps in my morning skincare routine. This one would be kind of a last step cream, especially for people with drier skin. This one doesn't contain any other anti-aging ingredients. It's just a nice thick cream with Q10 in it. Then there's another Q10 serum that I just reviewed. This is from the Inky List. This is a decent Q10 serum. It's a great price point. I think it's like $6.99, $7.99 at Sephora for an ounce. This is slightly thicker than the Timeless Q10 serum, but it is still a serum and so I would keep it in the same position. Now the last thing that people always ask is don't you use a separate hyaluronic acid serum? I don't but I did show you a separate hyaluronic acid serum in the other video and so if you wanted to use a separate hyaluronic acid serum the physician's formula skin booster vitamin shot is the one that I showed you in that video. There's also one from L'Oreal it's their Revitalift 1.5% pure hyaluronic acid so you could use one of those. This one is super lightweight and watery. This one's a little bit thicker but still pretty watery, pretty gel-like. So that might be first, let's say, if you were using, you know, the thicker vitamin C and the thicker glycolic acid. And then the last step is that I follow up with a moisturizer. The moisturizer that I use and recommend is the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I use the PM in the AM because I use a separate sunscreen. I always say that if you want to cut out a step, you can use the CeraVe AM. This does have an SPF of 30 in it. So, and it also has the great anti-aging ingredients that this has. This has ceramides, this has niacinamides. All these things have hyaluronic acid in them. So it's a really great moisturizer that brings more than just one ingredient to the table. Same with this. And of course, the last step in your skincare routine should always be your sunscreen. I've already shown you the CeraVe AM sunscreen. And then another sunscreen from the drugstore that's really fantastic is the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face SPF 50. So you would put on like a quarter teaspoon of that for your face and your neck. You would let that set up for 20 minutes. Then you would put on your makeup. 
And then the last thing for the daytime routine is that sometimes you need to top off your sunscreen throughout the day. And a really great way to do that is with a powder sunscreen. And so this one is a drugstore brand called Derma E. This is the Derma E Essentials Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. So this is just a brush on powder. So you basically just bang the brush and then you can powder over. This makes a nice touch up later on in the day. Everything that you put on your face should also go on neck, chest, backs of hands. Very important. You don't want your face to be like, ah, oh, so young looking and then eh, from here down, right? And especially the backs of your hands. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen every day, especially if you're getting a manicure with the gel. Sunscreen your neck, sunscreen your chest, not just your face. All right, let's move on to the nighttime skincare routine. So at night, I need to take my makeup off. The first step is an oil cleanse from the drugstore. My favorite oil-based cleanser is the Pons Cleansing Balm. Balm. Take a little scoop of this, you rub it into your dry skin, it breaks up all your makeup, all your sunscreen, and then I use these washcloths, it's called the Wonder Cloth. You know, you splash with water, you rub it with the Wonder Cloth, then I do a second cleanse because the oil from the balm does make my eyes a little uh, foggy and I want to get the oils off so that my skincare will penetrate better and then so I just use one of those other drugstore cleansers that I showed you before in my case it's the Neutrogena but you can use whichever of the three you prefer so in the nighttime routine I prioritize more by importance than by weight okay so my most important anti-aging active ingredient is my retinoid so I want to put that on first no matter what I use Curology or a prescription retinoid. So the best retinoid that you can get from the drugstore over the counter is called Differin. Definitely ease in with this, even though it is said to be less irritating than Retin-A or Tretinoin, it can be really irritating. So you really just wanna use a tiny little pea size amount for your entire face. This is like the amount that you would use for your entire face. So you would just take this little bit, you would put a dab on each cheek, two on your forehead, two on your chin, and if you have some left over, put some on your chest and some on the back of each hand, or take another dab into your chest and your hands and spread that out. The options that I showed you in the other video were, if you don't wanna use the different, that you could use the Ordinary Grand Active Retinoid, that is inexpensive. Also from Neutrogena, their Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream, or their Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Oil. These are all good retinol products, but no matter which one you choose, I would put it on first because it's got your retinoid in it and that's the most important thing. I'm showing you four, but you would pick one or maybe two. You know, I do use the prescription retinoid on my face, but it's too harsh for my neck. And then, you know, if you're someone whose neck is really sensitive, then you could do this face, chest, backs of hands, and you could do this just on your neck. Okay, so there's lots of different ways to change it up and make it customized to you. So the next step in my skincare routine is my peptide serum. The drugstore isn't big on peptides, but you can find them as kind of supplemental ingredients in some creams, which I'll show you in a minute. But if you want just a pure peptide serum, then you can't really get that at the drugstore yet. So the ones that I like are the Timeless Matrixyl Synth 6 Serum or the Ordinary Buffet. They're both lightweight and watery. I don't use both, I use this one. It's one or the other, you're not gonna use both. I use the Timeless because I know how much is in there. It's 8% Matrixyl 3000. Because I don't put the retinoid on my eyelids or on my lips, I like to use something a little slippery after it so I can kind of transfer a little bit of the retinoid onto my eyelids and onto my lips because they need anti-aging too and that's how you can kind of acclimate those areas to using a retinoid as well so that goes next then the last thing that I use is like a heavier moisturizer I used to always use the Olay Regenerist micro sculpting cream this is the fragrance free version and I use this because it has a peptide it has niacinamide which is another ingredient that I really love this also has hyaluronic acid but I've kind of switched away from this and I'm going more with the Olay Regenerist Night Recovery Cream instead that also comes in Fragrance Free or the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. And I like both of these a little bit better than the Red Jar. I'm going with the purples now for night because these both contain a couple of more anti-aging ingredients that the Red Jar doesn't have. So it would be one or the other of these guys. I'm currently preferring the CeraVe, but these are both fairly thick creams if you have 
drier skin, I feel like this one is the more hydrating, the more occlusive. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit greasier. I feel like this one is a little more light, a little more fluffy. Then the last cream that I had shown was the Nadinola Extra Strength Formula Skin Discoloration Fade Cream, and this is a hydroquinone cream. This is 3% hydroquinone, but this can really help to fade discolorations. It does take a long, long time. This is a pretty thick cream. It smells and feels just like Pond's cold cream. I tend to use fragrance-free for everything. I don't like my face to smell like anything. I don't use this in my personal skincare routine, but if you wanted to use it, I would put this on last after everything else. The last thing in my skincare routine is that once a week I do a glycolic acid peel since I can't use glycolic acid every day. If you're using glycolic acid every day like that alpha lotion that I showed in the morning then you don't really need to do a weekly peel but I do just a weekly mild peel. The product that I use for that is the Drunk Elephant Sukari Baby Facial but for this affordable video I would recommend the Ordinary HA AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution or this formula 10.0.6 B Berry Radiant Resurfacing AHA mask and I had also showed a Pixi product. It's the Pixi Peel and Polish Lactic Acid Mask so you could use that one as well. But anyway that's a once a week treatment that you would do. I like to do it on Sunday night. The night that I do this I don't use my retinoid so it's wash my face, put this on clean skin, wait the whatever amount of minutes it is for each individual peel, wash it off, then skip the retinoid, then I do put on the peptide serum and then the moisturizer and go to bed. I don't wait in between steps. The only time that you might want to wait is after you've washed your face for it to dry completely if you are concerned about sensitivity to your retinoid. Otherwise, wash my face, pat it a little bit, slap on my retinoid, put on the rest of my stuff, go to bed. It literally takes under two or three minutes to do my skincare routine because I don't wait in between steps. So that would be the entire drugstore anti-aging affordable skincare routine and how I would use it. I will write this all out for you so that you can print it out, tape it to the inside of your medicine cabinet so that you don't forget, you don't miss a step. So if you found the video helpful and informative, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.